Good evening, everyone. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you doing today? Well, today we have like the uh, rainy day look, right? The day, um, I'm sorry, the rainy day look. Hmm. Did you get wet under the rain today? Teacher, uh Teacher, creo que tengo problemas con la señal porque se escucha así como robótica y cuando se mueve así que por algo me va a sacar, cuando se pone así me saca y me mete de la clase. Oh, let's hope that it doesn't happen. So please keep in, uh, keep it uh, as much as you can, all right? Trate de estar ahí lo más que se pueda y saber, porque yo creo que todos estamos con esa situación por la lluvia, porque sí que ha estado mero difícil el día de hoy. Si no, miren, <laughs> the rainy eh, day look today. Yeah, like this. <laughs> uh, today was it possible to get an, el planchado. Uh, hoy no hay planchado con este wet day. <laughs> exactly. How are you doing, guys? Howdy. How are you doing? How's the weather over there? What's the weather like? What's the weather like in your places? Is it raining? In this moment, finish the raining t-shirt. Okay. Is it hot? Very hot. Really? And it's true. Sure. <laughs> okay. And my place is really cold. Yeah. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fine. And that's good. I like cold weather. Okay, people, we are going to start a class today. Remember that we are in the last unit of our module and we need to cover the topics about the future plans. When you are planning to travel to another place, maybe to another city or to another country. So we decide um, the time we decide what to take we decide where to go but this has to be in advance okay in advance okay so when you think and you decide in advance what you're going to do in your trip that's travel plans okay making travel plans in advance it means for the future you are planning planning and usually when we plan things we make a to-do list right you make a to-do list and also you make a packing list right you make a to-do list you make a packing list you um uh, you get informed 
in advance about the weather and temperature from the place you are visiting. And uh, that's to decide what to take. You investigate or you do your research about the prices of things over there to know how much money you need to take, right? You are not going to travel without money, right? That's for sure. Unless you, you're being invited, right? Unless someone else is paying for you, you are being sponsored. So that's completely different. It's not the case. Uh, the case we are talking is that we need to take the money, right? We need to take the money. We need to see our documents, right? Documents. Those are called papers right you need to check your or our documents or papers right we need to be aware that it's not expired right it hasn't expired it's uh the date is not expired um and we have different um vocabulary we learn right we had some vocabulary to learn for example questions questions for example at the airport or if you're going by bus you need to know some vocabulary related to the bus station to the uh, airport areas right so you need to be aware of vocabulary about traveling and places right for example you need to uh, learn some vocabulary to request right to do i mean to request politely politely remember could you please can i get right can i have uh do you mind would you mind giving me this and this or that? Um, you need to use, uh, should I do something, right? So we need to practice the uh, uh, polite language. Okay, so these are like things that we need to take care before going in our travel plans, right? Mm -hmm. But today, we need to see one structure to make these plans, okay? We need to see the structure for the future tense. Yesterday, we practiced this structure in the conversation we practiced, okay? The, the, um, uh, <clears throat> the structure is... be going to. So now after this short introduction, I need to take you to the main point for tonight because we are almost at the end of this course. So we need to uh, take it very um, uh, up to date, right? So we need to see be going to. This is the structure we are going to use tonight. Okay. Uh, what date is it today? Today is Tuesday is Tuesday, October tenth, tenth at twenty twenty three. Okay, just remember the the. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Tent. I have this situation Tent. over here with my. A annotation tool from Zoom because it changed and I can get used to it. Okay, just give me one second. All right, remember here in the formal, in the full form, we use 
one, right? And here we use another preposition, remember? So, the of, okay? Today is Tuesday, October the 10th of 2023. Okay, today is Tuesday, October the 10th of 2023. What date is it today, Aida? Tuesday, October the 10th of 2023. Very good. Isabel, what date is it today? Tuesday, October the 10th. 2020 of 2023. Very good. Thank you. Marta Esther, what day is it today? Tuesday, October the 10th of 2022. All right. Thank you very much. Okay, let's continue, guys. Today we have some vocabulary exercise because we need to make a feedback. Uh, um, uh, referent to the last class, okay? To the last class. Then we will see the objective Y to study be going to. And we want to see just something very important, okay? Okay, let's do this exercise. This is just as a manner of feedback. Okay, this is just as a manner of feedback. We need this, so we request this. Okay, this is vocabulary from yesterday. So please, um, Alma, can you access the board? Can you come to the board? And everybody helps, okay? Everybody helps. Mm. Okay. Yeah, teach. Yes, please. With everybody together. Mm. The number one is Carol Savers. Carol Savers. Shadow, 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 shadow. Mm. Letter G. Ah. <laughs> Me equivoqué, teacher, pero la intención es que la. Okay. 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 Number two. So, first and so, snacks in your room. Um, leather D. Fridge. Mm. Okay. Number three is to wash and dry your clothes. Is letter H laundry? Okay. And number four connection to network is letter F with the mm -hmm. access. And number five, where to keep your below? How do you pronounce teacher? Valuable. 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 Va valuable. Valuable. Valuable yeah. belongings like. Okay. Like money, jewelry, an important document. Like money, you know, an important document. Number six, room in a note. 
Uh, enough. Uh, enough. enough. Wrong enough. For one person, it has only one bed. It's a single room. Number seven is a place where to have a conversation. It's letter E, auditorium. A convention. A convention. A convention. To get up on time. Okay, teacher. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Now, let's do it in a different way. I will um, erase all these drawings. And then we are going to do this in a different time. I'm sorry, a different uh, way. So, if I need transportation from the airport to the hotel and vice versa, ustedes me dicen, you request, y me dicen el qué. Okay? Vale, vamos a ver. If I need transportation from the airport to the hotel and vice versa, you request a special request service. Service. You request. Sure. Should I say shuttle? Uh -huh. Así, no tengan miedo. Service. Shuttle. Shuttle, shuttle, shuttle service. Uh -huh. A ver, digamos los todos. Shuttle. 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 Eso, muy bien. Okay. Bye. Vamos a ver. Number two, eh, Aida. Ajá, así como lo hicimos ahorita, la misma dinámica. Ok. So, no, no. If I need. If I need some beverage and some snack in your room. In my. See. If you need soap bars and some snack in my room. Um, my request. No, nosotros le contestamos a usted. Uh -huh. okay. You request. A ver, contestemos le Aida. You request. Frames in the room. Right. Right in the room. Ajá, ok. La, la, el statement que estamos haciendo no es exactamente una pregunta, miren. Y sí. va, pongámosle you así como dijo por último Aida. If you need uh, soft beverages, right? Go on, right. Nosotros le vamos a contestar, you request, y le decimos lo que vamos a contestar. Vamos a ver, eh, Stephanie, number three. If you need socks to wash and dry your clothes. You request, everybody. You, re you request. You request. You request, mm -hmm. you request laundry. Laundry service, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what about number four, Gabriela? If you need connection mm -hmm. to networks. You request, you request everybody. Wi-Fi wi wi access. access. Wi-Fi access, right? Wi-Fi wi access. access. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, uh, what's over there? I can't see. Uh, Carlos Edgardo, number five. If you, if, if you need where mm -hmm. to keep your valuable, valuable like money, jewelry, and important documents, you Okay, request... repitamos, repitamos eh, la, para mejorar la pronunciación. Where to keep your valuable, keep valuable belongings. Belongings. Ajá, pero con la N, ¿verdad? Yeah. Belongings. Belongings. Eso, belongings. Like belongings. money. Like mm -hmm. money. Jewelry. Money. And jewelry. important documents. 
and important documents. Thank you very much, Carlos Edgardo. Then everybody say you. Okay. You request a safety, yes, safety box. box. A safety box. Okay, very safety good. safety box. Number six. Who wants to do number six? Rosa, are you there? I can do sure. Okay, uh, please, Saul. Okay, teacher. Number six is room enough for one person. It has only one bed. No. Oh, if... sorry, teacher. If you need, if you need room enough, enough for one enough. person. Así, it, sin miedo. Enough. 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 Enough for one person. It has only one bed. You request, everybody. You request. You request a single room. You request. You request a single, single room. room. Okay, very good. So continue, Isabel, with number seven. A place, a place where to have. If if a you need. Upper, sorry. If you need a place where to have a conversation. A convention. A convention. Uh -huh. Everybody, you request auditorium or a conference room. Yes, este au se lee como oh. o. 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 Auditorium. 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 Yeah. Auditorium. Auditorium. Or a conference or a room. Or a conference room. Exactly. Conference room. Okay, continue with number eight. Alma, please. If you need. To get up on time. You request, everybody. You request. You request wake you up request. call. Uh huh. You I'll request wake, wake up call. Ah, wake, 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 wake up call. Ah, wake up call. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Escribamos entonces las eh, oraciones. Vamos al chat todos y vamos a escribir las oraciones así. Uh, when, en vez de if, vamos a decir when you need, y vamos a copiarlo todo, portation, transportation from the airport to the hotel and vice versa. Puedo llegar hasta ahí. And vice versa. You request a shuttle service. Okay, vamos a hacer number two, todos en el chat. Así. When you need some beverages and some snacks in your room, you request. A ver, vamos. Thank you, Saul, for number one. Thank you. Vamos todos. Vamos con la number two. Thank you, Carlos Edgardo. Thank you, Fernando Noel. Fernando Noel puede ser su, su conexión de... Eh, um, Y los demás también me escuchan todavía como robot. Yo lo escucho bien, teacher. Ok, thank Listen you. Listen at nice. All right. Pero no veo que me aparezcan las oraciones en el chat. Chicos, vamos. La idea es que todos escribamos, ¿sí? To write. 
Vamos a la number two. When you need. Thank you, Aida. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. And number three. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Gabriela. Exactly. You request a laundry y tenemos que ponerle service. Ahí faltó la palabra service para que tenga eh, eh, más, más sentido gramatical. Laundry service. Ok. Number four. Thank you, Marta Esther. Mm -hmm. Ya vamos por la cuatro ahorita. Vamos todos. When you need connection to networks. You request no, Wi-Fi access. Wi-Fi access. Wi-Fi access. Wi-Fi mm -hmm. access. Teacher, in the, in the writing, for example, you request a wife others, or no. It's no not necessary in this case because Wi-Fi is not countable. And access okay, is not countable either. Yeah. Okay, uh -huh. And you need... <clears throat> when you need uh, where to keep where to keep your by by valuable 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 that's correct Marta Steph. yes Stephanie when you need connection to uh, networks, you request Wi-Fi access, correct. When you need soft beverages and some snacks in your room, you request fridge in the room. Very good. Mm -hmm. Belongings like a money. Yeah, will be. How do you pronounce yearly? Jewelry, 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 jewelry for one son. An important, jewelry, an important documents. You request a safety box. Somebody box. You request a software box. Number six is when when you need. Teacher, I have a question. And um, uh, in writing is use you use the WH question is done question the finish. The question mark the the topic or no? Or what uh, is, is but the question. answer is in mercy. No, no, no. Como yes. va la, como es una, que lo que necesite y ahí mismo está la respuesta, ¿verdad? No es como una pregunta. Mm, no, it's not a question. This is a statement. This is a statement. Ah, a statement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is not a WH as a question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Thanks, teacher. It seems like an adverb in this case, right? It's just an adverb. When, cuando, yeah. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you need a place where to help. Thank you, Carlos Edgardo. Yeah, when you need a room enough for one person. Uh, pero eh, <clears throat> en este caso. Aquí hay una palabra bien interesante, miren, room. Hemos aprendido que room es un dormitorio, un cuarto, ¿verdad? O una parte de la casa que se llama room, por ejemplo, living room, eh, dining room, eh, bath 
room, pero en este caso estamos hablando de espacio. También room significa espacio. ¿Ok? Entonces acá, cuando usted necesita, si fuera un cuarto, usted diría a room. Cuando usted habla de espacio con esa palabra room, solo dice you need room enough. ¿Ok? Room enough. El espacio suficiente. ¿Sí? Enough. Ay, sí. Enough. Es, esa palabra es bien interesante porque es contable y a la vez es incontable, dependiendo del significado en el que se esté eh, usando. When you need where to keep your valuable, a valuable, mm, okay, valuable belongings like money, jewelry, and important documents you need assistance. All right. Mm, the next one, it's a place where to have a convention, right? When you need... A place. Good, Carlos Edgardo. Thank you. When you need to get up on time, you request a wake-up call. Aquí sí usamos a, porque estamos hablando de una llamada, ¿verdad? Este call no es de verbo, es un nombre en este caso, ¿verdad? A, wake-up call. Okay. Thank you very much for uh, participate. Um, exactly. Thank you, Saul. Thank you. Now, I will uh, send... A link. Okay, I will send a link. I'll send this link. Vamos a ir a practicar el vocabulario ahí también. Aquí vamos a hacer un ejercicio de asociación. No necesariamente hemos visto las palabras, pero al leer, cuando nos hagan la pregunta, vamos a comprender y lo vamos a asociar. ¿Ok? No vamos a traducir. We are not going to translate. Así que todos, click on the link. Lo puede compartir en los chat, por favor. Yes, I did already. No, Alma. <laughs> ya ve que no soy yo, es Saúl el que le lleva, mire. <laughs> Vaya, niño, llévense bien, no me peleen en la clase. <laughs> Cuánta maldita y en ti, de veras que me <laughs> Ya iba a poner queja, Alma. No, vamos a poner manos arriba, Saúl. <laughs> okay. uh -huh. Ay, Miss Gabriela está ahí a lista para ponerlo ahí con la oreja de burro. Vamos a ver. <laughs> Ay, no. Le vamos a levantar acta. <laughs> Ajá, <cabal. laughs> okay, people. So, are you there yet? Ya llegaron por ahí. Está bonito. Just to show. Ok, esto es acerca de accommodations. Ok, el que vimos era acerca de amenities, ¿verdad? Ahorita vamos a ver accommodation. Vamos a ver, number one es el ejemplo. Who wants to read the example? If you book a room for one person, you usually book a single room. Exactly, ok. Continue, guys, with number two, number three, until number ten.
Hola, teacher. Hello, Fernando. Teacher, me voy uh -huh. a colocar unos, unos 15 minutos. Ok. But we will be waiting for you, ok? Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok, Fernando. Okay, people, what is number two? What is the answer? Mm -hmm. Can you please read the complete statement? If you want a room with a double bed, you book a double room. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. What about number three? Number three, if you want a room with two separate beds, you put a twin room. Exactly, a twin, twin a room. Twin mm -hmm. room. Yes, okay. twin it is the size of the bed, right? That it is before the, um, what's the name of this uh, size? The one before the queen. La que nosotros llamamos matrimonial. Antes de la matrimonial está la twin, ¿verdad? Entonces usted quiere dos camas separadas, entonces decimos twin room. Tiene las dos camas, ¿ya? Yeah? Twin room. Number four. Number four, for families, there are usually a special offer if they take a family room. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. And what about number five, guys? And you, number five. Yes, please. In your hostel, in your hostel room are often shared by 10 or more people. This sky of room is called bunk bed. Uh, no, it's called dormitory. Dormitory. Mm -hmm. That's for 10 people or more. Okay, uh, so the word over there is youth hostels, youth hostels, or hostels, yeah, tiles, tiles. Even if that is written with the letter E, right, we say ah, hostels. Hostel. Dormitory, dormitory. Yeah, dormitory. dormitory. Number six. To get 10 people into one room, two beds are usually placed on top of each other. They are called uh, pinky, pinky beds, bunk beds. Bunk, yeah. Bunk, 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 bunk beds. beds. Bunk beds. Mm -hmm. The bunk beds. This is why the, it's called a repeat, bunker. Please be sure. yeah. Bunk, bunk, bunk. beds. Uh -huh. Es bunk por eso que bed. se llaman bunkers. 
¿ok? Uh -huh, los bunkers. Por eso se llaman <risa> bunkers, porque son planteras, ¿verdad? Para estar todos ahí y permanecer un tiempo nada más. Y así en montón, vea. En litera. Bunk, bunk beds son la, lo que nosotros en salvadoreño llamamos comúnmente camarote. ¿Ya? Yeah. Uh -huh. Pero el nuevo término, ¿verdad? Internacional es litera. Litera. Number seven. But no matter where you're staying, you usually have to file in front of the reception. Exactly. Fill in a form. Fill in fill a in, form. Fill in a form. Ajá, fill in a form. Un formulario. For fill in a form. Fill in a form. And no matter where you're staying, yeah, no matter where you are at, you usually have to fill in a form at the reception. Number eight. Then the receptionist steals your, your room number and give your the K, your K, K from your room. Key. key, key for your own. Mm -hmm. La llave. The key. La llave, right? Porque solo le dan la llave. Con eso, the key. Okay? The key. Mm -hmm. Number nine. During high season, it's a, advisable to book a run in advance. Okay. During, during, during high during. season, during high season, it's advisable uh -huh. to book a run in advance. In advance, yeah. In advance. To make a reservation, in right? In advance. In advance. And then number ten. If a B and B is fully booked, meets bed B &B. and breakfast. Bed, bed and, and breakfast. Breakfast. That's B and B. Hmm? Bed and breakfast. Is mm -hmm. fully booked. Fully they usually booked. fully book. They usually have a thing in the window saying, saying. Saying? Saying. I don't answer this. <laughs> yes, no. Vacances. No. Vacances. Vacances. No, vacances. Vacances. Yeah, vacances. All right. Now check your answers. Check your answers and screenshot and send it through the WhatsApp. Send it through the WhatsApp as a manner of evidence that we are working on this exercise, okay? Okay. Okay, now let's start with our main point from today. Okay, today's class is about the structure, be going to, how to use this structure, when to use it. And remember that when we make plans, maybe we make plans of things that we are going to do or we are not going to do things that we want to ask about um, the place or whatever, right? To 
to make our own plans. For example, I can ask, uh, are you going to do something, something? Yeah. Are you taking, are you going to take something, something? Okay. Are you going to get to the airport at 7 a.m., for example? Or if I don't have any idea, then I can say, what time are you going to get to the airport, right? So these things are direct questions and WH questions too. So affirmative, negative, direct questions, and, and uh, WH questions. Remember, I want to take you through the line of time, okay? A timeline for you to see that now at this point of the course, you should know how to express some things in different tenses. So I want just to um, uh, show you this. So our class objective is that you will be able to use be going to to talk about travel plans and hotel reservations, right? But I want to tell you that you now, at this point of the course, you know how to use the past tense, right? Did, didn't, was and where, and wasn't and weren't, okay? We know how to use these auxiliaries and we know how to use the simple past verb form. Remember regular and irregular verbs. So now we manage or we can handle the present tense with the auxiliaries do and does. With the to be verb also, okay? Am is are and the negative and the questions, right? We can use the verb to be in negative, affirmative and questions any kind of question don't and doesn't to okay we know how to use do does and don't and doesn't we can use also um the third person in the present simple verb form like a uh, adding the letter s i e s e s right now now we are starting to see the future Okay, we're going to see the future in our ball, right? <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, we will imagine. No, we are going to make plans. Esta estructura, be going to, es cuando nosotros tenemos planes o estamos planeando hacer algo. Probablemente yo todavía no he comprado mi pasaje para irme, pero yo ya tengo el plan de que voy a hacer ese viaje. Entonces uso esta estructura. Be going to. ¿Cómo se usa esta estructura? Vamos a ver por acá. Be going to puede ser affirmative o en positivo, ¿verdad? Puede ser en negativo, puede ser en preguntas de sí y de no, respuestas, ¿verdad? Y puede ser en WH questions. Veamos estos ejemplos para ver cómo armamos el, eh, la estructura afirmativa. Okay, esta es la, la estructura positiva. Vamos a conjugar el verbo be. Vamos a poner la estructura going to y vamos a poner el verbo en su forma base. Miren, acá están todos en su forma base. Y entonces vamos a la primera. A ver, abramos nuestro micrófono y leámosla para que ya de una vez entremos. I am going to travel to Mexico next week. I am going to I travel to Mexico next week. Going to you are going to stay at the Princess Hotel. You are going to stay at the Princess Hotel. 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 He is going to buy some sort of Souvenirs. She is going to check in she next Monday. She is going to check in the next Monday. She is going to check in the next Monday. It is going to be a place. It is going to be a place. 
We are going to fly to Canada next weekend. We are going to fly to Canada next weekend. Fly to Canada next. They are going to make. They are going to make hotel reservation. Hotel reservation. Exactly. A ver, ¿qué es lo que no cuadra acá? Convirtámoslas en pregunta, ¿ok? En pregunta, él sigue la misma regla de el verbo be. Am I? ¿Ok? Cambiamos de lugar, ¿verdad? Are you? Is he? Is she? Is he? Is it? Are we in our day? Teacher is saying the affirmative sentence. Is for example, I am travel to Mexico next week. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay, mm -hmm. I understand. It. Yes, okay. las primeras eran así, pero es que. Eh, teníamos el signo de interrogación sí. ahí que no lo borramos, ¿verdad? Entonces, para que le veamos el, la, eh, el cambio, ¿verdad? The difference. Acá. Eso, the difference. ajá, the difference. So, okay, this is the way to ask a question. Am I going to travel to Mexico next week? Everybody, am please. I, am I going to travel to Mexico next week? Uh -huh. A ver, ¿y los demás no están por ahí? Solo Saúl y yo estamos en la clase, jóvenes. Me encanta que Saúl participa un montón. Me, me fascina, me encanta. Así quisiera oírlos a todos, jóvenes. Aunque se Todos equivoque. hablando. No, pues claro, si para eso estamos acá. Si hasta la teacher se equivoca. Mira, Alma se está riendo, mira, teacher. Regáñala. <risa> ah, ya lo vi a ustedes. Sí que hay que poner los manos arriba. Les vamos a poner los libros así. Miss Gabriela. Miren, Miss Gabriela. <risa> Vaya, ahí está la Miss Gabriela encargada de disciplina acá. <risa> Va, okay, vamos sure. a ver entonces um, Continuemos Are you Vaya, Leamos de ahí para allá todos Are you going to stay you at the princess hotel? Is he going to buy Okay, meeting. No se dice hotel. ¿Cómo se dice? Hotel. 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 Lo que pasa es que en nuestra en nuestro idioma nosotros decimos hotel, pero creemos que en inglés tenemos que ponerle adelante el acento. No, el acento siempre va como nosotros. Hotel. ¿verdad? Hotel. Lo que tiene que hotel. sonar la H como una J, ¿verdad? Hotel. 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 Exacto. Hotel. Ok, people. Ahora, ¿cómo sería un statement en forma negativa? Vamos a ver. ¿Cómo sería en forma negativa? Transformémoslo. I am not. I am not. I am not. Exactly. Uh -huh. Y vamos a usar contracciones cuando estamos hablando y vamos a usar eh, las, las formas completas cuando estamos escribiendo, ¿verdad? Entonces podemos decir, I'm not. Ok, I'm, I'm not. not. Ah, y le quitamos el... Okay. Ah, vamos a ver en esta. ¿Cómo diríamos? Diríamos... You aren't. You aren't. You aren't. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo diríamos esta? He isn't. He isn't. He isn't. He isn't. He isn't. He isn't. It isn't. It isn't. 
We are in. Vale, ahora leamos las ya completas, a ver. I'm not going to travel to Mexico next week. Mexico next week. You are to stay at the princess hotel. You are going to stay at the princess hotel. She is going to buy some souvenirs. She is going to check in the Monday. to be a Exacto. Solo acordémonos, eso se oye un poquito mal si decimos hotel, es hotel. Okay, hotel. Bien, ¿cómo sería, ¿cómo sería transformando esto en una WH question? Vamos a ir haciéndolas. A ver, vamos todos en el chat y la convertimos, ¿sí? Vamos a hacer la primera. La primera sería, eh, le podemos preguntar when or where, ¿verdad? Entonces yo le puedo preguntar, where are you traveling next week? You. Right. Where are you traveling next week? I se me fue net. It's next. Um, next okay. Week. Next week. O yo puedo preguntar, when are you traveling to Mexico? Where are you traveling? No, no. When are you traveling? Uh -huh. Exactly, Saul. Ahora, con when, esa misma. When are you traveling are you next, week? No, next week? To Mexico, I'm sorry, to Mexico. Okay, traveling uh -huh. to Mexico next week. When next week. are you traveling to Mexico? When yeah. are you traveling to Mexico next week? No, no. When are you traveling to Mexico? Porque la respuesta traveling sería next is, week. Traveling is double L teacher. Traveling. Uh, yes, in the British. Uh, in the British. Yeah. But in the American, no. American okay, is okay teacher. with one L. So it's not a mistake. You can okay, use that. Sure. Uh, well, in this region, it's better your spelling, right? With one L. Thank you, Marta Alicia. Oh. When are you traveling? Uh, sin el next, Marta Alicia. Ahí solo sería, when are you traveling to Mexico? Yeah. Ok, teacher. Mm, uh -huh. okay. ¿Y cómo responderíamos ese? I am traveling to Mexico. Así como next la tenemos week. ahí. Next week. Ok. I am traveling to Mexico next week. Uh -huh. Ah, perdón, estamos usando la otra eh, estructura. I am going to travel. I am going to travel uh -huh, to Mexico. Y quiero que veamos la diferencia en este caso. Next week. Aquí hay una diferencia nada más de... Eh, ¿Cómo se llama esto? Certainty. ¿Cómo se llama eso? Certainty. De que sí va a pasar, de seguridad que va a suceder. Vaya, si usamos el presente continuo, ¿ya? así como lo puse yo, I am traveling to Mexico next week, es que ya está todo listo. Yo ya compré el pasaje, ya hice las maletas y es seguro que yo me voy, cueste lo que cueste y pase lo que pase. Con el presente continuo. Ahora, con el going to, el be going to, yo estoy haciendo un plan. Es bastante seguro, ¿verdad? Es un plan definido, pero eh, un 100% de definición lo daría el eh, presente continuo, ¿ok? Esa es la diferencia entre los dos futuros acá, ¿sí? 
Como por decir, be going to plans, seguro. Es seguro porque ya está planeado, es definitivo. Pero, ¿qué va a suceder mañana y con toda seguridad al 100% sería con el presente continuo? Ya tengo los pasajes, ya estoy lista, es más, ya voy de camino, ¿ya? Ya voy de camino en el taxi que me voy para el aeropuerto. Ahí yo uso el presente continuo, ¿ok? Bien, vamos a ver entonces. Pues les digo porque yo puse acá arriba eh, mi respuesta. Decía, ay, no la encuentro. ¿Alguien la mira? I'm traveling, dije, ¿verdad? I'm traveling. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. When are you traveling to Mexico? Esa está buena también, pero estamos usando el be going to. Así que eh, usemos el be going to para el plan. Ok. When are you going to travel to Mexico? Okay. When are you going to travel to Mexico? Así sí, si ya estamos en el plan que estamos viendo. Ok. Vamos a ver con fly to Canada next week. Ajá. Veamos con fly to Canada next week. Hagamos una pregunta con WH. ¿Ok? Podemos fly, en todo caso, pues obviamente es agarrar un avión e irse en un avión. ¿verdad? No es que usted va a ir con alitas volando. ¿verdad? No. Fly se le dice que usted va a transportarse en avión. ¿Ok? Entonces, vamos a decir... Um, Where, uh, where are you going to fly uh, next week? Okay. When are you going to fly next? Where are you going to fly next week? I am going to fly to Canada. Okay. Uh, now, y la pregunta con when, ¿cómo sería? When are you going to, when are you going to fly to Canada? Ok, uh -huh. when are you going to fly to Canada? Entonces sería, I am going to fly to Canada next week. Okay? Got it? Vamos bien hasta aquí. ¿Alguna pregunta? Exactly. There you are, so. Mm -hmm. Bien. Vamos entonces a hacer una pequeña práctica porque eh, nosotros normalmente cuando vamos a hacer planes ¿verdad? de viaje, when we, make, uh, when we make travel plans, when we make travel plans, uh, we need a to-do list, right? And maybe we may check, right? When are you going to travel? Are you going to travel for business or pleasure? Personal or business a purpose? Okay. Are you going to travel for business or pleasure? Where are you going to go? How are you going to get there? What places are you going to visit when you get there? What are you going to take? What are you going to do there? How long are you going to stay there? When are you going to come back? Veamos que estas todas son WH questions except this one. Ok. En esta tenemos dos opciones. Sí. Y es una pregunta directa. Yeah. Are you going to travel for business or pleasure? Ok. Vamos a ver. Please read the... One, two, three. The first three, Aida. Okay. When are you going to travel? Are you going to travel for business or pleasure? Where are you going to go? Thank you, Stephanie. Continue three more. 
how are you going to get there? What place are you going to visit when you get there? What are you going to take? Thank you. Continue, please, Rosa. The last three. What are you going to do there? How long are you going to stay there? When are you going to come back? Okay, so these are questions very important to um, build your plan, to uh, follow or make a map of your, your travel plan, okay? So um, allow me just to give you... Um, Okay, because we want to practice the be going to. So we are going to go and do this exercise in agenda web, okay, to form the future plans. So Ok, no solamente con viajes podemos hacer planes, ¿verdad? Ni tampoco es solo para eh, eh, algo que es un plan como tal, como estamos hablando de los viajes. También es algo que yo tengo pensado hacer, ¿ok? For example, eh, en la primera que miran ahí, el verbo es, la acción es sleep, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. sleep. Uh -huh. sure. sleep. Entonces, ¿cuál sería la frase que completa la oración? I am going to sleep. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I am going to sleep. Yes. Entonces, vemos, tenemos el be conjugado, tenemos uh -huh. el going to y tenemos el verbo, ¿sí? Que es la acción I'm principal. Uh -huh. Esto es como que en español, digamos, voy a correr, voy a dormir, voy a ganar, voy a... Ese voy a es el I am going to. I'm Vamos going a ver to. el siguiente. You are going to win. Going to win. Yes. He's Next. going to have a bat. He's going to have a bat. Uh -huh. She's going to play. It is going uh -huh. to rain. We are going to travel, you are going to eat, you are going to work, the cat is going to go to fishing, the girls are going to be, be dentists, the cat is going to go fishing. <laughs> okay, check. It's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Check your answers, please. Si hay alguna pregunta, me dicen, por favor. Vamos a seguir practicando la gramática del Be Going To, así que les voy a pasar otro live worksheet. Okay, Fernando Noel, please continue with us. Don't worry. Ahorita estamos haciendo unos ejercicios de la estructura Be Going To, Fernando. Be Going To se usa para hacer planes a futuro. Ok. Estamos usando el, la estructura Be Going To. Entonces conjugamos el Be y seguimos todas las reglas del Be. Y le ponemos Going To y el verbo en forma base. Ok. Pero que hay que se ve lo del link que enviaron, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que estoy haciendo. Es lo del link que envió al chat. Yes, that's, that is the sí. one. 
Ok, Exacto. eso es lo que estoy haciendo ahorita. <risa> ah, pero usted me dice la primera. Eh, de hecho, déjeme ver. Déjeme ver. No, no, no lo encuentro. ¿En el chat de aquí? ¿Esto? ¿De mi pantalla? Exactly, yes, that one. Uh -huh. sí, eso that es one. lo que estoy haciendo ahorita. Correcto, ahí estamos, eh, ahí acabamos de terminar ahorita y ahorita estoy mandando un nuevo link. Ah, ok, solo termino eso entonces y entro al otro. Exacto, cualquier cosa nos consulta si hay duda. Ok, teacher. Bien. Ok, vamos a ver entonces la siguiente, no sé si ya se las mandé, no me fijé en el, sí, en el WhatsApp. Sí, yes, teacher. Ok, vamos a ver ahí, be going to for future. I'm going to uh -huh. learn, learn, learn. Uh -huh. El verbo es learn, ¿verdad? Learn. Entonces hay que ponerle conjugado. I am, I am going to learn. To learn karate next year. Learn. Uh -huh. I am going Uh, out going to not, not stay up. Stay up. I am not. I am not. I am not. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to stay up uh, mm -hmm. all night. Vamos a ver cómo vamos, Is chicas. Gabriela, ya llego ahí. Isabel, llegó. Yes, teacher. He's okay. going to meet. Going to meet. Freddy, sí, ¿ya está en la página? Intentándome meter al otro estoy. Ok, Isabel. Are Carlos you... Edgardo, ¿ya llegó? Teacher. Going... No entiendo. Teacher. Eh, ¿Quién me preguntó? Yeah. Perdón, perdón. Me, me... Stephanie. Sí. Dígame. Eh, Ahí lo que tenemos eh, que learn. hacer. Uh -huh. Ajá. Tenemos que agregar la estructura be going to y el verbo. Entonces sería I am going to learn. Entonces usted tiene que ponerle el verbo be conjugado, el going to y el verbo en su forma base. Is he is not going to one uh, TV game show? Not be going to be the concert. Is going to to start. Oh, sí, Stephanie, vamos bien, ya. Yeah. Sí. Okay. Going to. He is not going. To, He's not, he's not going to be on a TV. Ajá, ajá. He is not going, going to, be to be on a TV game on show. On a TV game show. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, the, in the match of the question to the answer, también, teacher. Yes, uh, tenemos que hacer el match. Uh, Exacto. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Are you going Entonces to se be pone ahí cerquita y le aparece un lapicito. Sí, ya vi. Mm -hmm. Entonces, are you going to be a single when you grow up? Yes, they are. Uh, are you? Are you? Um, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Uh, Is we make the line t-shirt in the... Exactly. Mm -hmm. Con el match? lapicito. Okay. Okay, Tiene sure. que Thanks, llegar a la, a la letra para que le marque la... la ok, t-shirt. Is, is it going to rain today? Yeah. It is. is it's, no, it isn't. Is she going to get... Yeah, she is... 
Oh, is she going to get a bus into no, no. Are you? No, Jin and are they going to go in? Yes, they are in. No, he isn't. Okay. And check. Uy, uh, me salió mala porque me equivoqué en una letra. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't write this, it's incorrect. Write the okay, learn. But it... learn. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh -huh. It is not a problem, Saul. You can send it like that because it's just one letter, right? Okay, teacher. Y la siguiente que voy a es, I'm not going to stay, stay up. Stay up. ¿Cómo uh, vamos, jóvenes? ¿Hay I alguna not, pregunta? I am not going to stay up all night. Mm. Mm -hmm. Pero me parece errada. Quiero ver. It's done correct. I am. I am. And not. N O T. G O I N G. Going to. T O. Stay. S T. Y A Y up. Hmm. Okay. I don't know, teacher. What is the <laughs> the problem? What is the incorrect? I'm going to meet this and Ellie. Ah, uh, these are going no. Teacher, in mm -hmm. number two. Mm -hmm. I am not going to stay up. I I am right is you say teacher, but I is incorrect. I I send the image. Sí, es cierto, pero eh, no se preocupen porque ah. sí es cierto, la da mala, la da mala. Pero no se preocupen porque sí está correcta. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Look, teacher, please, where is the, my, bueno, in the, in the, Lo que no, pasa no, primero es que, me equivoqué, pero, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, ok, esperen, uh, que no puedo accesar, um, I am Así not ahí. going, Sí, está correcto, sí. Uh -huh. Ok, ni modo. 8 to 10. Okay, of 10. Sí, y, y de cualquier manera se la va a dar mal a esa. No, no se preocupen. Pero solo la dos, ¿verdad? La otra sí. Sí, sí, la, la primera me equivoqué. <laughs> Thanks, teacher. Uh -huh. Teacher, okay. oh, is, oh, is right a meeting? Two. Ah, I'm sorry. Or is right a meeting? Meeting. No. Hey, no, no, no. Is go, is, mm -mm, are, because Tessa and oh, Ellie, are. they are going to meet. Are, yes, teacher. Was that one? Not, not this day. Going to stay. I am not going to stay. Oops. No, esa sí está correcta. Esa no se preocupen que si así es. <laughs> está buscando <laughs> la forma de, de ver por qué está de aquí, pero yo veo no, que no, no. no funciona de no. ninguna. <laughs> no, la va a dar siempre mala. Se me olvidó decir esa porque no me acordaba. Okay. Okay, t-shirt. Mm -hmm. It's an issue. Yes, It's an exactly. issue of the platform. <laughs> exactly. Ya ven que no solo pasa acá en inglés corporativo. <laughs> <laughs> ok, vamos a ver. ¿En qué estábamos ahorita? Ah, quería decirles y que no, que, se, que no se me fuera, ¿verdad? Porque acuérdense de los twin rooms, ¿verdad? La que le sigue sería full. Yeah, oh. Acuérdense, primero oh. era... Y single full size, ¿verdad? 
Después de la full, la full es la matrimonial, ¿verdad? La full es la matrimonial. A ver. Luego viene la queen, ¿verdad? Ok. Continuamos, ¿verdad? Ya finalizamos todos el ejercicio. Tomen el tiempo para hacerlo. Muy bien, Rosa. Uh -huh. Acuérdense que estamos hablando de planes a futuro y de cosas que vamos a hacer o tenemos pensado hacer. A veces espontáneamente decimos, I am going to go to the supermarket tonight, ¿verdad? Eh, porque yo necesito cosas, entonces hay una razón para hacerlo, entonces yo uso I am going to. Y es un futuro, eh, es un plan que se va a dar, que es algo que sí va a suceder. Ok, vamos a hacer entonces las negativas, ¿sí? Un ejercicio nada más pequeño. ¿Qué pasó, Sam? Eh, teacher, eh, eh, es que estaba, esperé esta clase para resolver el ejercicio 17, porque ahí me ha costado. Entonces, ahorita ah. que estoy intentando, me está dando error otra vez. Pero voy a decir, ah. no me doy por vencido. No me doy por vencido, todavía lo voy a seguir intentando. No, es que lo que pasa es que no es error lo que usted esté haciendo si está siguiendo el be going to. El error está en que queremos escribir toda la frase y el formulario está hecho solamente para lo que completa la oración. Mm. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. Thanks, teacher. Ok. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. <laughs> uh -huh. Ok, sí, vamos sí. entonces a el ejercicio que vamos a hacer ahorita. Es be going to, but in negative form. Negative form. <laughs> no puede ser. What happened? Sorry, teacher. Not yet. <laughs> Era un espacio entre unas palabras que me daba error. Oh. Sobre el teacher, sin teacher. Okay. Okay. <ríe> es, uh -huh. es sensible la, la plataforma. Si tiene más de un espacio entre alguna palabra, también da error. Por eso Exacto. yo decía que, ¿por qué estaba equivocado? Sin okay. teacher. <ríe> ok. ¿Cómo vamos los demás? ¿Ya llegamos? A la forma negativa. Negative form. Thank you, Aida. También por una letra. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, to G le puso. Uh -huh. En vez de to get. All right. Okay, people, continue and tell me, how is it going over there? Ahí creo que nos va a dar random las, eh, las preguntas, uh, las dificultades. Thank you, Alicia. Marta, Alicia.
That one was easy, right? Teacher, ¿cuántas son de las negativas? 15. Ok. My sí, points. Pero, pero no me dio ninguna respuesta. 14. You are. Pero si dice 15 of 15, 15 uh -huh. de 15, ahí a eso tome. It is no. And the message is no more question. Question, teacher. Uh -huh. Lo okay, que pasa teacher, es que ahí teacher. sale también. Eh, Ahí sale 12 de 15, 13 de 15, las que le salieron buenas. Ah, pues dice 15 de 15, right? De. 15. Core, ok. 15. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sube bien. Exactly. No yes. You had your 100. <laughs> ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Bien, ahora ya sabemos cómo es la estructura, no puede ¿verdad? Ser, estaba correcta todo. Sorry, teacher. Okay. Creo que tenía activado. Es que estaba traumado con eso, que no, no avanzaba. <risa> Come on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't say that. Hey, come on. <risa> Turn your microphone off. <risa> Sorry. Ok. Well, uh, now. Veamos entonces en nuestro manual una pequeña conversación, ¿sí? Uh, en, nuestro, en nuestro manual tenemos un, eh, una conversación que hacer. Bueno, tenemos dos actividades, ¿sí? Dos actividades. Vamos primero para comentar y abrir el, el tema nuevamente, eh, regresando a los eh, planes de viaje, ¿verdad? De business trips. Uh, vamos a ir a la plataforma. Ahí comencemos primero, ¿sí? En la plataforma, vámonos a la eh, discusión de la videoconference number 17. En esa discusión tenemos travel plans, ¿sí? Travel plans. Travel plans. Y es una pequeña discusión, ¿sí? Do you prefer to stay in modern or antique hotels when you travel? Do you usually make your hotel reservations or does someone else do it for you? Vamos a platicar un poquito acerca de eso, ¿sí? Y aquí yo les puse este link pequeñito, ¿eh? no le puse a cortar. Eh, es de... <ríe> Es de eh, hoteles en Antigua Guatemala y en Guatemala, que ahí es un país donde hay mucha historia, ¿verdad? Hay muchos hoteles de ese tipo, antique. Entonces, eh, por si ustedes quieren entrar y ver algunas fotos y ver si les gustaría ir ahí, ¿qué prefieren? Si los modernos o los que tengan historia, ¿verdad? O en edificios así, restaurados, bonitos. Bien. Vamos a hacer eso ahorita. Le vamos a but, poner ahí. But, but in this moment, it's not travel to Guatemala, sure. No. For the conflict. <laughs> yes, we are not going. But actually, um, about tourism and history, let's say. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh -huh. We love Guatemala and we are so sad about their situation, right? The political situation. Okay, people. Vamos a ver entonces. What do you prefer? Vamos a irnos a la, al breakout room 
lo vamos a hacer en cinco minutos. Usted solo le va a hacer esas dos preguntas a su compañero, medio platican así rapidito, y usted pone su propia eh, respuesta, la suya, ¿ok? La suya, solo es una pequeña discusióncita que van a hacer, como hacerse la pregunta y responderse, no más, ¿ok? Vamos a ver entonces, todos al break room. Van a platicar, o se van a hacer las preguntas entre ustedes, pero van a responder individualmente con su respuesta. ¿Entendido, jóvenes? ¿Alguna pregunta? And in the post, the show, in the... On the platform, the photo, yes. The platform, okay. Exactly. Okay, the show, thanks, the show. Ok. <risa> ya viene la teacher, no primo. Ok, comienzo entonces a hacerle la pregunta ahí de Do you prefer to stay in modern or old hotels hotels when you travel? Do you prefer? Is the question, do you prefer to stay in modern or old hotels okay. travel? Mother Hotel. O oh, la otra es. Es que estoy anotando la pregunta. Or all or hotels when you travel. Hotel. For example, my answer is I prefer modern hotel. I prefer modern hotel. Antiguo. Antique. Or antique. 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 Porque ahí asusta. <laughs> antique. Antique. I prefer. Okay, I'll make it. I prefer all hotel when to tra when travel. Okay, e the next question is let me check the platform. Is do you usually make your hotel reservation or does someone else do it for you? Disculpe eh, que Saúl, que nos puede mandar las preguntas. Yes, oh. yes, it is. ¿Puedes compartir la pantalla? No. no. Gracias. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll show the questions. Sí, so what sí. is the correct is question sí. or request? Oh, he's live. He's sí. live. I'm sorry, I was sharing these things. Uh, tell me again. Ah, what is the difference, teacher? Uh, uh -huh. Or what you usually use? But is question or request? Uh, well, actually, they are completely different, both. Okay, um, because okay. a question, a question is when you require re request for information, okay. but that request is when you ask for uh, ask someone to do something for you. 
for example. Mm, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, the short yes. sentence, the short. You can make a requisition too. It's not only a request, right? But yeah. Okay, the short. Question depends. Request depends on the context. You can use both. Okay, the short sentence, the short. Thank okay. you. Sure. Okay. When you travel. Teacher, in the answer is, for example, short answer, uh, I prefer modern hotel, or you can say, because I didn't like for the innovations, technology, or different service. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It does. Mm -hmm. In the modern, oh. yeah, exactly. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, little. Okay, okay. Okay, teacher. I are right that that my answer. <coughs> Do you usually? Do you usually make your? Ay, este traductor me pone lo que quiere. Mary. Ay, yo traductor. Just like. Teacher, you you can you can help me please to check my answer to question number one. Oh, okay, teacher. I check the question is you asked for and request. No, no, no. Your... Uh, I, I, that's mistaken. Okay, the request is when you ask for something, and the question is when you ask about something. Uh, okay. Question I ask for that. Mm -hmm. Someone. <laughs> okay. okay, sure. You sure check, please, my answer to question number one. Do it. That's good. Perfect. Okay, teacher. Thanks, teacher. Do it for you. Okay. Do you usually make your hotel reservation or the someone it's else do it for you? I know. But I'm talking about who's that? Disconnectarme. So, for example, ir allá al titan. Ajá. Disconnect. Ajá, disconnect. Así me quedo señal allá. For relaxation. Y, y hay hasta de, como rótulo donde dice signs uh -huh. um, que no teacher how que do se you deja el celular oh. how how do you say in English for example mm -hmm. eh, mm -hmm. de la palabra despejar pero cuando se refiere a la persona verdad que estoy despejado relajado uh -huh. how, la how do you say in English uh -huh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is the, um, the sentence or, or what is that? Okay. Uh, um, Escapar de la I'm realidad. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> es no, 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 no. There are two uh, idiomatic phrases, but allow me just to confirm. No, uh, because we are not going to use that. Uh, we are looking for an adjective, right? Uh huh. Mm hmm. But that's family. like clear, clear something. Um, uh, 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 uh. Mm. Uh, uh. Um, See, it's clear. Uh, I mm -hmm. <laughs> Then, a second, do you usually make or does someone is? Ah, okay, aquí, ajá, pero, eh, <laughs> es que, es, sí, me recordaba del gear, pero no, eh, como la, la frase idiomática, porque hay una, 
o sea, uno lo puede hacer literal, como decir clear one's mind, ¿verdad? Pero, eh, y está correcto, pero está como que mi cerebro, ¿verdad? Se ponga como, eh, ahorita, ahorita les digo exacto, para ponerlo cabal. La respuesta de la segunda. No me acuerdo cómo se llaman esas cosas. The gear, ¿cómo se llama el gear? Este, Saúl. Eh, gear. Que tiene dientitos y van a hacer engranajes. El cerebro. Ajá, ok. Eso, ajá. Eso, pero eh, permítanme. Mm -mm. Está relacionado por ahí. Hemos esto por nuestra gente. Hay varias, pero esa de aquí es la que estoy buscando. Ah, ok, pero es que. Dos cosas, si está despejando la mente para poder actuar y hacer algo, ok, sí. sería esa de guía que yo recordaba, pero déjenme encontrarla acá. Va. Ajá, sí, tengo que usar get por, por fuerza. Va, entonces sería así, to get my, tendría que ser como to get my brain gear. Uh, to get my brain. Ay, ahí no me recuerdo si poner preposition. Déjeme encontrarla bien. Mm, sí, necesito la preposition. Mm. To get my brain in gear. Así. Así suena bien. To get my brain in gear. Yeah, in gear. gear. Get my brain in gear. Uh -huh. Despejar mi mente. Clarificar mi mente, pero ponerla como a trabajar correctamente. Yeah. To get my friend here. Mm -hmm. Teacher, que they, they are um, specific uh -huh. forces that cannot be translated. Is it okay? ¿Cómo se dice la frase, teacher? Ajá, this is an idiomatic phrase. Ajá, uh -huh. they, they are specific, ¿verdad? Exactly. O sea, no significa lo que dice literalmente. <laughs> Literalmente, uh -huh. Sí, because... porque usted no puede poner un cerebro así como con tuerca ¿verdad? y todo eso. ¿no? ¿Cómo eh, se llama? Pronto, no, teacher, engranaje, pronto. engranaje. Engranaje. Pronto. Uh -huh. Yes, teacher, the technology is go up, yeah. go up, go up, go up with this teacher. Yes, you're right. It's developing very fast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, teacher, okay. You mm -hmm. can help me check the second answer. Oh, there is another one. Eh, hey, I forgot about this one. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, uh, well, to clear one's mind is lo mismo. ¿Cuál fue la que me dijo, Saúl? Mi respuesta, ahí, eh, bueno, la envío nuevamente. La, la, número no, ya, ya la habíamos visto y decíamos que estábamos bien. Estábamos oh, bien. Okay. And it is difficult for me to decide on the options. I usually make reservation and it is difficult. Or oh, do you? Yes, teacher. And and you usually do your uh, your own reservations. You you make your own reservations and for el other people too. Yes, teacher. For mm -hmm. for example, my aunt or mm -hmm. for the difference. Oh, when um, sorry, I I think I think I I I don't know what we say. Uh, in my. How do you say anterior? Last? Uh, okay, in, last yeah. in my last work, in my last work, mm -hmm. I, I, I usually the reservation, the difference work with the co workers, the reservation, for example, the travel to the, um, com, com, how do you say, com, o sea, no son, no son como, no es como ir a una conferencia, pero hay, hay una palabra que se llama convenios, conventions. Ah, training es como entrenamiento, ¿no? Pero no, era como una convención, ¿no? algo. Ok. Convenios. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> all right, people, continue. I have to go to another room, all right? Okay, teacher. Thanks, teacher. Thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Rosa, and thank you, Gabriela. Thank you, Fernando, for your answer, for your reply. Okay, here we've got it. Okay, Gabriela prefers to stay in a modern hotel. Okay, a uh, modern hotel. If we talk about plural, always, right? That will be in modern hotels. Uh, usually make the reservations. Okay, good. Rosa says, I prefer to make the reservation myself. Actually, because uh, that's um, to request the amenities we really need, right? the services that we are going to use. Do you usually make your hotel reservations or does someone else do it, do it for you? Yeah, this is what I'm checking. But it is not. Okay, I prefer to stay in antique hotels. All right. You prefer to stay in modern antique hotels when you travel? I prefer to stay in antique hotels. Uh, yeah, but Fernando, it sería, I prefer to stay in an Antique hotel in an. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, teacher. No, no problem. It's okay. Usually make a reservation. Uh, okay. A hotel reservation. Okay. There you go. Uh, do you prefer to stay in modern antique hotels when you travel? I do prefer modern hotels. Ok, miren, acá, eh, en la forma que lo ha escrito Marta Esther, significa que usted me está afirmando y reafirmando y que de verdad, este do que usamos cuando lo usamos así, I do prefer, me está diciendo como I really prefer. Por lo tanto, no utilizamos do cuando contestamos esta, este tipo de preguntas. Este sería I prefer modern hotels, nada más, sin el do. Do you usually make your hotel reservations or does someone else do it for you? I usually do it. Very good. Good answer. Okay, people, please. Send teacher, will they, will they put your page? <laughs> okay, did you send it? Yes, to sure. Right. Continue here. And let's see. Stephanie, yeah, I prefer to say in a modern hotel. I. Aquí este, no vamos a combinar el verbo to be con una forma base del verbo, Stephanie. Aquí vamos a decir I prefer, sin el am, um, ¿verdad? I prefer. Do you prefer to do, I prefer modern hotels? I usually make reservation and it is difficult for me to decide on the options. Okay, so yeah, that's true. Usually it is. Uh, well, actually, it's not that difficult for me because I just think what's cheaper. <laughs> Okay, I go for the cheaper, cheapest one. 
Uh, do you prefer to say, ok, mm -hmm. I, sin el I'm, ¿verdad? Aquí es solo I prefer. Uh -huh. I make it. I make it en tiempo presente, ¿verdad? En tiempo presente. I made it by myself. Quiere decir que una vez usted lo hizo antes, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces, ok, continuamos y vamos al, eh, estoy compartiendo toda la pantalla, ¿verdad? Entonces, de una vez, vámonos al manual. En el manual tenemos esta conversación. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Teacher. Of course. Mm -hmm. We don't see the, <laughs> the manual. Don't you? Um, okay. I'll do it again. I thought I was in, this, in the right way to, to share. Okay, sure. Okay. I see. Mm -hmm. Hello. Thank you for calling the, the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Gerardo, Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday the 14th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay, so we want to listen to Carlos Edgardo, please. You're going to be Gerardo. Marta Alicia, you are Jen. Hello, thank you for calling. The Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How come I'll help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Carlos Vasquez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When Mr. are you Vasquez. going to arrive? Mr. Vasquez. When are you going to arrive? Arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday the 14th. How long are you going to stay with you, Mr. Vasquez? I'm going to stay on Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay. This is the way to make a reservation. Okay. And I just, uh, uh, I just want you to notice something. The vocabulary when we talk on the phone. Okay, when we speak and when we request for something on the phone, we are very polite. If you say, I want, that's very straight, very direct. And you can use it, of course. It's not a problem. But if you uh, want to seem uh, more polite and you will use, would like. Okay, I would like. That's the most polite way to request for something. Y si usted dice, I need... Es algo que eh, probablemente no se puede cambiar porque es lo que usted realmente eh, está requiriendo para llenar una eh, necesidad específica, ¿verdad? Entonces, I need to make a reservation. Yo puedo decir, I need to make a reservation porque no hay otra opción. Yo puedo decir, I would like to make a reservation porque yo puedo decidir entre las opciones, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, Última cosa, nada más. ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de lo que hemos visto? Is there any question so far? Está bien fácil, ¿verdad? ¿Está fácil? Sí. Ok, entonces vamos. Yes, teacher, it's very easy. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. Bien, vamos a hacer entonces eh, lo último de la clase. I will call the roll, so please, everybody, turn your camera on, and when I call your name, please say present. Okay, here we go. Aida Eugenia Ramírez Chávez. Present, teacher. Alma y Emilia Hernández de Vázquez. Present teacher. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Alarcón Galdames. Carlos Ernesto Galán Serrano. 
Damaris Luis Guevara Herrera. Evelyn Yajaira Martínez de Jacinto. Fernando Enrique Martínez Macín. Present teacher. Fernando Noel Mauricio Cintigo. Present teacher. Freddy Enrique Vázquez Solórzano. Present teacher. Gabriela Eliseta Hernández Cruz. Present teacher. Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Present teacher. Marta Esther Ayala Díaz. Present teacher. Ronaldo José Guerrero Hernández. Rosa Estela Polanco. Present teacher. Hello. Present. Dijo, dijo Aida, Aida dijo, es que ahí asustan, dijo, ¿cómo dijo Aida? Ya andan asustando aquí. No, 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 teacher. no, no, es que estoy todavía con Ronaldo, pero tengo que de una sola vez ponerle eh, la nota que si no se queda ahí eh, perdida la nota, vamos a ver hoy sí. Today is the tenth, right. Okay. Here we go. Ah, ya no da la opción. Okay. Ahí tenemos eh, Rosa Estela Polanco. Present teacher. Aquí, okay. Saula Álvarez Pacheco. Present teacher. Pani Magali Amaya Reyes. Present teacher. ¿Verdad que me pasé directamente a María Isabel Rivas Guevara? Present teacher. Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa, creo que no la mencioné tampoco, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Ah, ok. Marta Estela Ayala Díaz, la mencioné. Yes, teacher. Ah, ok. Ok, estamos entonces. Ha sido un gusto. It has been a pleasure um, being with you. Acuérdense que es la última semana y necesitamos que por favor todos no falten, ¿verdad? No falten y conectense exactamente a la hora. El día viernes los espero acá a toditos. Pongámonos a trabajar en la plataforma a manera de ir concluyendo ya todo el trabajo, ¿verdad? Son cuatro partes del examen. Que no nos vaya a agarrar la noche, ¿verdad? Con eso. Ok, people. Entonces, la sesión uno a uno. El día de hoy. Eh, ya no sé ni para quién es. Creo que es para Stephanie, ¿verdad? La 17. Eh, creo que a mí me toca. Siete. Sí, a Saúl Álvarez le toca, es cierto. Ok, teacher. Ya, yes, teacher. Okay. Let's see the dessert. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see what? Let's eat. Dessert. Ah, the dessert. Ok. Dessert. The dessert. All right. Pero ahora sí no se me ocurre qué hay porque no he visto en la cocina. Cheesecake dessert. Ah, oh, cheesecake and goodness. coffee. So, so, cheesecake. No, sí, solo hay peperecha ahorita. Solo peperechas. <laughs> ok, people. Have a very good night, everybody, and see you tomorrow. Please do and submit your, your homework. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Tell me, how can I assist you tonight? <laughs> Hi, teacher. Teacher, Hi. sorry, but I, the different class I but connected the list, had a listener, but it's difficult but my work and different situation but I uh, how do you say perseverar? Uh, I persevere persevere I persevere the mm -hmm. English class <laughs> okay okay, okay I remain also I remain uh -huh. <laughs> okay teacher teacher um in in this topic say okay, yes mm -hmm. topic mm -hmm. I <laughs> the last week I uh, roll and roll the what is that? Aha. Uh -huh, <laughs> uh -huh. So no it was about the shoot, right? Shoot <laughs> and 
Okay. Uh, en la parte de las tareas era que se me había quedado trabado, ¿ya? Sí, ahí te oh, okay. En el 17, porque eh, yo primero, como se lo dijo, lo inicié poniendo toda la oración. Mm. Luego probé solo poniendo la parte del he is, por ejemplo, en el number one, he is going to fun. Y no me daba, y no, después sí puse is going to fun. Pero como no me daba ni la primera, no quería avanzar en las siguientes. Pero, y luego me percaté que había un espacio entre el to y fun, uno adicional. Lo volví a borrar y lo volví a copiar y check. Entonces, ah, luego okay. me eh, empecé a, a poner las demás y claro, pues me salieron todas correctas. No porque quería avanzar. Right. Uh, okay. uh -huh, <laughs> in, uh -huh. in the, in the um, tomorrow, I, I the, the answer the difference topic, the, the, the question. The, the next one. Sorry, the, the, the next, next one. The next one. Okay. Okay, teacher. Uh -huh. Teacher, I, I, for example, the last class, mm -hmm. uh, 16, but I, how do you say sincero? Sincere. Sincere. Be sincere, uh -huh. I be sincere. I don't, I don't, I don't can't. No. No, I can't. I can't see the mm -hmm. video. But uh, I, I couldn't. Past tense. I, could, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't mm -hmm. see the video. But I, for example, the different amenities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is the hotel services other... and accommodations? Accommodation, accommodation amenities those are the accommodation two. and amenities what is the difference in, in accommodation and the services for example accommodation is the refer to the uh, reserve in the hotel and uh, amenities if for example the difference for example uh, how do you say plancha <laughs> son mm -hmm. como las amenidades son cosas diferentes no exactly what is the, the services difference? The services. The services. Mm -hmm. It is but the amenities. Services, exactly. It's exactly the same as in the Spanish. Amenities. Amenities, amenities. So are all the services that are included for the price you pay for staying in an accommodation. For example, you stay in a hotel. The hotel is the accommodation. But for example, room service, electronic card, or... um the laundry service, the housekeeping, uh, if you request for the hair dryer uh -huh. or you request for in, including the ice, right? That you ask okay. for or the beverages in your room, like in a mini bar or something, those mm -hmm. are amenities. Okay, those are amenities because they are services. But uh, okay. the place, like a cabin, an apartment, a house that you rent, when you go on vacation or when you are go you are planning to stay more time in a place in another country in another city for example that's accommodation it's the place where you sleep overnight mm -hmm. okay okay, mm -hmm. okay teacher yeah, i so understand that's the what difference. is the difference mm -hmm. i understand what is the difference okay if teacher if you want to see that mm -hmm. you can have you can read the definitions you've got in the manual in the manual, it's easy because um, on page 39. Okay, on page, page 39. 39. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher, let me have... check page 39. Mm -hmm. Okay, page 39. Page 39, okay. It's loading, teacher, it's loading, it's loading. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a common accommodations and amenities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a place just a running ah, okay definition. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, teacher. I I sh I share my my window you check it is the page correct. Okay. Under... Mm -hmm. Ah ah sorry teacher. I, I... You, you can share. <laughs> don't, you don't can see, share. Don't, don't see. <laughs> Didn't Thanks, teacher. See. Sorry. Okay. It is? Yes, that's uh-huh. So accommodation is the place, right? A place uh -huh. is the uh -huh. word. Um, how do you say clave? Key <laughs> oh, no, word. Pass, keyword. The key He's a, word. The keyword. The keyword. Uh -huh. The keyword word. Word. Keyword word. No, just the, clave. Key, the key. Ah, word. The key. The keyword. Ah, okay. 
keyword. Okay, the keyword is a place and amenities. Where is the features? Features. The features. The features. It is include the different services. Okay. Exactly. For, features. For features are characteristics. Okay. Okay. Features, features are, are all the services they offer. Okay, teacher. For, for example, teacher, a different ho hotels is, mm -hmm. is our, um, how do you say, prestan, porque no sé si, si la palabra es como prestar los servicios, prestan algunos servicios, o... No, they offer. How do you say in they English? Offer they offer services. They mm -hmm. offer service, for example, all include, mm -hmm. and include. the difference... Mm -hmm. All inclusive, for example. Uh, and I, but uh, you say all inclusive. All inclusive. All inclusive. All inclusive. Mm -hmm. For example, in El Salvador, uh, you see the uh, the Cameron's hotels. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And all inclusive means the... that you have all the services available by the same price, and they are mm -hmm. not charging you extra, right, for for obtaining that service. Uh, you were saying about prestar. It will be give. Okay. Give. Uh, yeah, give. Or you can say offer. You can offer. say give, offer. Mm -hmm. The services they offer, the services they give. Okay. Mm -hmm. Give and offer services. For services. Mm -hmm. Teacher, for example, how do, or how, how is, or what is the difference? For example, I, I can, I can the usual the uh, let me the WH question in the for example I I I have a question but is you um how do you say aclarar <laughs> a clearly clear up or clear, clear clear up uh -huh. clear up what is that for example in the use the H question no era, no, o sea, estábamos usando el when y yo le pregunté si era una pregunta, entonces usted me está explicando que no, que no era una pregunta. Ajá, entonces podemos utilizar, por ejemplo, no son todos, ¿verdad? Porque no es el what ni en el why que vamos a utilizar, pero el when sí lo podemos utilizar en este caso. Sí, en ese caso usábamos el where, el when. El where, ajá, el where y el when. Como por ejemplo, ahorita estábamos diciendo where travelers can sleep. Yeah, uh -huh. where traveler is not a question word, it's an adverb. Okay. Uh -huh. Es un adverbio acá que está diciendo. Uh -huh. dónde. Es un adverbio. Uh -huh. ¿De dónde? ¿Dónde? Pero sin la tilde del español, ¿verdad? De la pregunta. Sí, sí, es, es que en español <ríe> sí, lo hace uh -huh. la diferencia. Ah, ok, teacher. Sí, y es, sí se es pueden usar confused. casi todas. Casi todas las WH son utilizables como adverbios. Como adverbios. También. Exacto. Eh, y estas se convierten como en una cláusula dentro de otra oración. O, o ya serían uh -huh. dos oraciones juntas. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Dos oraciones juntas. Por ejemplo, aquí, a place where travelers can sleep. Yeah. Uh -huh. eh, estamos como describiendo eh, el lugar. ¿Verdad? Lo que okay. se puede hacer en ese lugar. En el lugar, eh, ok. Uh -huh. El otro, vamos a ver, el que estábamos hablando, when are you going to... Eh, no, 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 no. When I need something, uh -huh. you when request I need... something. Right. Uh -huh. Sí, es de use as adverbio. Es un adverbio. Adverbio, exactly. Como adverbio. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, teacher. Uh, Teacher, you don't um, you don't know what is the, the page the page the page the in the internet, but I can mm -hmm. write in or learning what is the different ad adverb and all this question, but I oh, yes. confuse or so, <laughs> for example uh -huh. in, in this. Yeah, but those are called relative clauses and it's a very relative. long topic. Okay. Relative oh, okay, clauses. Sure. Relative. Uh, we have clauses. relative clauses and we have noun clauses. Uh, we have adjective clauses, we have adverb clauses. clauses. Okay, mm. so relative clauses. Okay, sure. mm -hmm. There is where you use where, why, and so on. Uh, uh, um. mm. With who, with which. 
-hmm. with who, with uh, wolf, wolf, who's, or that. <laughs> uh, no, no, who's, 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 who's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, sure. Allow me to get the one that I usually I get when I teach about the relative class. Okay, Losses. sure. Mm -hmm. Adverb. Because it's kind of it's kind of a um, extends, okay? It's kind of extends uh, 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 because we have the defining, we have the non-defining, we have the noun classes, we have the um, adverb classes, a uh, we have the adjective classes. We have a lot of different classes. Mm -hmm. So for you to understand the point maybe <laughs> let's do it in general okay let's do mm -hmm. it in general so i will give you the one i use with arnel Okay, the relative pronouns, the relative clauses, the adjective clauses, and so on, right? I will give you, I will send you this. Uh, I really love this teacher. She uh, gives a very good explanation, and it's a short explanation. So I'll send it right now over here. Okay, here it is. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Thanks, teacher. I I see the video and yeah, but I understand it. Yeah, this is about grammar. Okay, this okay, is teacher. about grammar. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher, it's grammar. Mm -hmm. Emotional clauses. Okay, teacher. You can go. You can go to her page where she has the exercise of this a uh, video. Um, okay, to teacher. See if I can get it and I send it to you. All right. Okay, teacher. Thanks, teacher. Okay, then. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, please. Okay, then. It's okay, teacher. If you have yeah, no teacher. more questions, then see you tomorrow and have a very good night, Saul. Okay, teacher. Thanks, teacher. Have a good night. Okay, bye. Okay, teacher.